happens in the, the way that many people might react when they're presented with a lot of data in a, in a layered way. And, and kind of that feeling of overwhelmed, uh, of being overwhelmed. And, and then a kind of emotional response of, I want to do something when I see pieces of that. data and the evidence that we deal with day in day out as policymakers, uh, you don't engage with it in the same way as you do when it's presented in a different way. As somebody who's probably sort of immersed in quite a lot of data day to day, actually having to stop and pause and think about how the data presented in a different way. Engage with it, even struggle to see and read it. It's actually quite a good way to sort of reconnect with the information. These are extremely physical, material things that as I walk around the space, I have an embodied relationship with. And the partiality of it and the materiality of it and my embodied experience of it opened up the question of how policy is made and institutionalised. The thing about policy is if it's not driven by the humanity, the human heart, the desire for beauty, for well-being, I'm not sure what it's there for. And I think what this exhibition captures beautifully as well is that it's not just about the information, it's about the fragility of our situation and um, therefore really brings forth the idea that the action, the action that is taken, the policy that is decided, needs to really be applicable and urgent 